rock you through uh, in Photopea uh, the steps for the vignetting. I'm just going to drag in a picture, and I often use this process when I'm uh, working with snapshots of family and such. And so first thing first, though, I think I would crop this image and kind of straighten it. I actually know I set my camera up and I did this myself and I, I kind of like the slant because it tells the story of my independence, you know, never like being told exactly what and how to do something, right? We, we're all like that. Um, so I'm going to just crop it and we're going to put the ellipse in here. Um, so use the ellipse tool. It might be underneath the rectangle tool. So it's important to find that. And you notice I waited till I kind of got the highlights so that it's centered. What we're gonna actually do, select the inverse. So we're gonna go select inverse. And when I select inverse now, I'm gonna go to, to actually modify that. So select and modify now and feather. And I'm gonna go about 70 pixels and go okay. Feathering means I'm gonna soften the edge that defines what I'm gonna do now because I'm going to add a new layer. So I'm going to go layer, new adjustment layer, and I'm going to go to, and I could go to anything here. I'm going to go to curves. And what I'm going to do is choose to darken this border of this image. And so, um, yeah, so what I'm doing here is creating a really clear focus on the, the center of that picture. Select, deselect, and it's as easy as that. Um, and you can see it here is the curves. Uh, this is called a mask and this is the curve setting. So again, as you um, choose to use that, there you go. How to do a vignette, which I know you can do on an app, but again, we're working with Photoshop file save as PSD. And so that way I can see all your stuff. Now, if you wanna see it yourself, I would export as a JPEG that way, um, and I just hit save. Um, that way you can open it up and there's the file.